The Apollo 10 was launched in May 1969, a month before the first astronaut that stepped foot on the moon. Inside it was a crew of three astronauts, John Young, Eugene Cernan and Thomas Stafford. While they were heading toward the dark side of the moon, they were expecting to hear nothing, since they knew they would lose all transmissions from Earth. But that's not what happened. As the Apollo 10 spacecraft passed around the far side of the moon, out of contact with mission control, and the farthest that any human has ever been from Earth. The astronauts spent about one hour at the far side of the moon. They lost the radio contact from the Earth. At that time the crew encountered an unexplainable whistling sound and outer spacey music. None of them knew where it came from, but nonetheless the sound reverberated loudly in their headsets. The documents were confidential in 1969 when the space race with the Soviet Union was in full swing. Transcripts of the conversation between astronauts Eugene Cernan, Thomas Stafford and John Young were released in 2008, but the actual recordings of the sounds were declassified only recently. The audio tape of their conversation was made public, and you can hear John Young and Eugene Cernan discussing this mysterious sound. Hey, when do we fire the helium tanks? Not we... yet, babe. Yeah. You want some more brownies? No. We're still going to go That music even sounds outer spacey, doesn't it? You hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Woo! Hey, it's your... Yeah, it sounds like, uh, you know, outer space type music. Hey, Tom, is your, is your insulation all burned off here on the front side of your window over here? Right? Yeah. I have enhanced the audio so that you can hear the whistling sound clearly. Hey, when do we fire the helium tanks? Not we... yet, babe. You want some more brownies? No. That ain't music even sounds outer spacey, didn't it? You hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like, An engineer from the U.S. Space Agency tried to give a scientific explanation for the mysterious sound. But the astronaut, Al Warden, who flew on Apollo 15, disputed that explanation. Saying, logic tells me that, if there was something recorded on there, then there's something there. The astronauts of Apollo 11, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong, also said that, while they were walking on the surface of the moon, they have heard an eerie woo-woo sound.